Okay, quickly, before we start, always a good practice. This is our frame from part three, all right? What I want you guys to do is go to your file menu, go to save as, okay? And we're going to save this as another file name before we start. I would suggest frame four, okay? And hit okay with that. And that will save where you are now in case anything major happens and you want to go back to that one. Click in your SketchUp folder, let it save there um, so that it's there. You're saving in between steps. It's always a good process. It's always a good habit to get into. And then we can get started. Okay. Okay. So here we are with part four for drawing our picture frame. In this part, we're going to draw what the router does to the picture frame, what we saw in the shop video um, for part four, what the different profiles of the router bit can do to the frame. And let's try to do that on the drawing. So the first one I want to do is the easier one. And the first one I did in the video is this is the back of the frame. Make sure you're looking at the back of your frame. And we're putting a, a recess or a groove that goes around this perimeter of this rectangle here and it's that's where we're going to put you know the picture would sit and the uh, piece of plexiglass in the back of the frame that's where you you know put the photo um, so that recess I don't mention it in the video but it's three eighths of an inch wide all the way around and about three sixteenths of an inch deep okay so the first thing I want to do in this video, I think the easiest way to do this is to draw a rectangle that looks like that groove around this perimeter. All right, so we're going to use our tape measure tool first. Um, I'll show you guys the easiest way to do this uh, rectangle here. All right, so I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm right at the end point here of this little corner on the butt joint. Make sure you're here on the butt joint. It makes it easier. Uh, at that end point, click once, let go, come down this line, and then type in three eighths of an inch. Okay, so we're down three eighths of an inch. And the next thing we're going to do is go right to that point we just created. Put our mouse pointer there, the guide point. Okay, click once, let go, and we're going to go to the left here. Make sure it goes red. Okay, uh, so that means it's parallel all the other lines and we're going to type in three eighths of an inch again and hit return okay it said five sixteenths there but that's not really it we need three eighths of an inch here and three eighths of an inch here okay so that's one point of the rectangle now i'm going to move to the other side of the frame up at this other butt joint up here so you can see what i'm doing i'm going to do the same process we're going to take the tape measure I'm going to go right to this end point, let it, let it snap to that, click once, let go, go up this line and type in three eighths, three slash eight, hit enter. Okay, so I get a little guide point. Now from that guide point, the three eighths one I just created, I'm going to click again, go to the right, and make sure it goes red. That means it's parallel to all my other lines. And I'm going to type in three eighths here and hit enter. And then I'll get another guide point out here. And now I'll zoom out and reposition my drawing. Okay, so I have this guide point I made down here and the guide point here. Those are the outer points of the rectangle or the groove that we're going to create. So from here, it's pretty easy. We grab our rectangle tool. All right, we go to that outer guide point. We'll start here at the lower left, this one here, the outer one we just made. Click once, let go, and we're going to drag out right to the other guide point we made all the way up here. When it snaps to it, click again, all right, and that gives us a rectangle, just a, a drawn rectangle there. And that's the trace of what we would do with the router, all right? And from here, it's pretty easy. We're just going to grab our push-pull tool, and we're going to go down, push down, and we're going to type in 316, so 3 slash 16, enter. Got to do it all four sides, right? Sometimes it snaps to it, but I like to just type in 3 16 so I'm absolutely sure everything goes in. So 3 16 okay, and then down 
three sixteenths. All right, that one was pretty easy. All right, that's the first part. This is where we would put the plexiglass and then a picture and then like a cardboard backing on the frame. All right, so that's the back of the frame. Let's move to the front of the frame. We'll rotate around. All right, so that's the first part. So we'll rotate here so you can see better what we're looking at. All right, so we created another cove groove all the way around the outer perimeter of the front of the frame. Remember, this is the front now. We've rotated to the front. You want to create that cove, okay? So I'm going to show you uh, some new tricks here, all right? Um, what I want to do is I want to rotate around my frame until I get to one one of these corners right here and by the i want to see it by the uh where the butt joint is so i would suggest you rotate right to this corner okay try to zoom in a little bit here i'm doing it so you guys can see exactly what i'm doing all right so that cove is basically like a semicircle the router bit i showed you guys and um it just kind of makes a semicircular cut so i want to draw an arc right here all right, so if we go to our left-hand side toolbar, we go to here, here's our arc tools. We're gonna go right to the first arc tool right here. It says arc, all right? We're gonna click on that arc tool, all right? And we go right to the point, or right to the end point of our frame, okay? And we wanna get it, not this blue protractor, we wanna get it to this red protractor at the end point, okay? So we get this red one and we're, you kind of see how it's going to draw that arc. We're going to click once, and we're going to dra drag out along the edge of the frame here. And I want you to type in, um, just going to type in three eighths of an inch here again. All right. Actually, that, that looks like it's going to be a real big arc. I don't want to do three eighths. Let's, uh, let's do undo here. Let's get back to that red one. Click once, drag out, let's do a quarter inch. So go one quarter, all right? Now that gives me an arc that's gonna be one quarter. I get that little green dot. I'm gonna click again, and I'm gonna drag to the other side, okay? And then click again, all right? So that gives me an arc at one quarter of an inch. So this should just be one quarter of an inch high here, one quarter of an inch here, okay? So that would be the arc that the router bit would make. All right, so now that we have that arc, I want to somehow do that across the whole perimeter of the drawing, all right? So there's a special tool that does that. It's called the Follow Me tool, okay? So I'm gonna show you the Follow Me tool, all right? And you gotta kind of you know pay attention and watch exactly what I'm doing here when I, when I do the Follow Me tool. All right, first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a path that the follow me tool will follow, okay? And the R path is the outside of the frame, all right? And a way to select that path, we have to go to our select tool, it's at the top here, okay? And then we'll start here, and we wanna click right on the line that is the outer perimeter of the frame, and it'll turn blue, okay? You see it turn blue. Now I need to hold down my shift key and I will get the plus and minus sign on my mouse pointer. Now I can add all the other components of this path. So I'm gonna follow it all the way around. Be careful to click right on the line and it'll turn blue, okay? You don't want this to turn blue. I don't want the area, I don't want the surface, okay? I want the line to turn blue, okay? So I'm gonna start over again, just so you guys are clear. I just want the line to be highlighted. Click on the line, turns blue. Now hold your shift key down. You'll get the plus sign, and this is gonna add each individual line. I'm gonna go all around the perimeter of my frame. Make sure you get every component, okay? Follow that path. Each one should be highlighted blue, okay? And don't forget this one last little line here where your arc is, if it leaves that one off, we get that one in there, okay? So now we've created a path. Just verify, you can spin around a little bit and you can see that all the path, the perimeter is highlighted blue. 
all the way around the, the frame, okay? So when that's highlighted blue, now we're gonna go to the follow me tool. We go to where push pull is, we click on that. The second tool here is called follow me, all right? So follow me, we'll click on follow me, go right here where this is highlighted in our arc, this little pie shape, it will highlight blue and you click it once and it, if you see it and you did it right, it will all clear out or make a cove around the whole frame with a couple of these little pieces here, okay? Um, so if that's done right, right, you'll get these little tabs here. I'm not sure why. Um, it doesn't do it on my other version of SketchUp, but it's an easy fix. But you can see it's pretty much done here. And also I noticed it does this little hole here. Do not worry about it. I can't figure that one out no matter what I do. So let's just go to our select tool. We select these little pie shapes here and you can just hit your backspace key. That might not be the best thing to do. Actually, we should probably grab our eraser tool and we'll zoom in here. We'll just get rid of this line here and this line here. Okay, that's a little easier. And let's, I'll zoom in on this so you can see it better. And all these pieces that we're working on, all right? This one here, all right, this little tab, again, just your eraser tool, one there and one there, okay? Let's rotate again, zoom out, all right? It creates one there too. So each time you see these little tabs, all you have to do is erase this little, these two little lines. I'm not sure why it leaves them there, but easily fixed. Zoom out, see if we have any more. We have one right down here. Okay, we'll zoom in, erase that. Okay, we'll zoom out and we'll check our work. Anywhere else? We're good. All right, so you can see it's basically just like in our bit shot video, we've got a cove routed all around our frame using the follow me tool. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> the last thing we did is we did this inner perimeter. We just added a little chamfer. We used the chamfer bit. Okay. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit here. All right. The chamfer bit to just put a 45 just around here on the inside here. Okay, with our follow me tool that we just used, we're going to do the same thing, but we can't get to the outside. We don't really see the outside where we can draw the arc like we did before. So this is a little tricky. So this we want to do on the inside. Okay, but how do we draw that piece on the inside? That's a little tough because it's all closed up, right? So what I want to show you guys here is a little trick. I actually just learned this myself. All right, uh, to do it on the inside here. First thing we're gonna do is hit our select tool. We're gonna click this surface right here in front of us, and we're gonna right click our mouse pointer and get this menu and we're gonna go to hide and we're gonna click on hide. So now it takes away that surface from us. We see the inner workings here, all right? I wanna focus on the left here, this miter cut or this miter joint here on the left. All right, I'm gonna zoom in. A little bit i'm going to rotate to see it a little bit better okay all right so our chamfer kind of is like a 45 degree angle right here if we were to do it on the inside here so i want to draw just a 45 degree line all right so i just to get give myself a guideline i'm going to go to my tape measure i want to go down one quarter of an inch so hit um one quarter Right, and then I'm going to go to the left here, one quarter of an inch. So I go click on the end point, go to one quarter. Okay, and then I'm going to connect those two lines. So I'm going to go to my pencil tool, my first, my drawing or my pencil tool. The first one just goes point to point. All right, and I'm going to go from the guideline or the guide point I just made to, to the other guide point. Okay, and it's going to create that 45 degree line right there. All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. 
and rotate, All right? Still wanna see that little 45 degree there, but I also wanna see our path. We wanna follow the inside of the frame, right, for our path. So let's go to the select tool. Like before, we're gonna select our path that we want follow me to work on. So I click just the lines, so we just get the blue line highlighted, hit my shift key and hold it down, get the plus sign on my mouse pointer. Now I can add this line and I can add this line and then this line. So now I have a continuous highlighted blue path along the inside of the frame. Okay, now I can go back to my follow me tool. I click on that, that's the second tool here. And if I click on that and then click on just that little triangle shaped area we just drew, Okay, now it just automatically carves it out all around the frame. Okay, take a look at that. All right, you can see if you rotate around, you can see it got that nice chamfer all the way around. All right, but now we have this piece is missing. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how we can get rid of that and how we can get rid of our extra guide points here. All right, go to the right hand toolbar where these set of glasses are. Okay, you can see this, these set of glasses says display. So we're going to click on that. All right, first thing here says unhide. All right, so we're just going to say unhide all. all. Sorry, say that again unhide all. We do that, and now this comes back. Okay, the surface comes back. All right, and if we want, we can go here and say, delete all guides, all right? The guides are the little dotted lines and all the little points we use to draw stuff. So I'm gonna say, delete all my guides, all right? All those dotted lines go away. We're gonna close this out and we'll rotate. And there we are with our chamfer and our cove, all right? All the way around our picture frame. We don't have any extra guide points anywhere. All right, and there we are. So I see I made a mistake here. I didn't push this last piece down right here. No problem. Thought I got that one. But I'm just gonna go to my push pull tool, go to this one and push it in three sixteenths. Okay, so now I'm set there. But that's how it should look. You should have our groove in the back for our picture and our plexiglass. Let's shift this around. That's what the back should look like. All right, and then we also have our cove on the front all the way around, just like we would do it on the router table, and also our chamfer on the inside edge. All right, so when you give me some pictures, I wanna see a good image of all those different profiles that you put on your frame when you turn in your assignment. Make sure you get me some good images. This is a good image right here to do that. And then uh, the one in the back. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one.